My name is Matthew Skachowski, and I'm here to ask you a question. Don't you just hate aliens? With their spindly legs, their slimy fingers, their lifeless black eyes? Do you ever wake up in a cold sweat and think your descendants are one day gonna be banging some smoking hot alien babe? Are you doing your part? I know I am. Here at the Ministry of Truth, we agree with you 100%. These icky, foul zebras are obviously nice. not made in God's image. Worse yet, they're un-American. Clearly, the only piece they want is for us to be turned into pieces. And because of your outstanding athleticism, leadership qualities, and martial prowess, you've been selected to quite the exclusive peacekeeping group. But before you join the boys, gals, and non-binary patriots out in the front, you need to become educated on the basics of Helldiver Combat Protocol. I mean, let's be honest with ourselves, you aren't exactly the brightest star in the sky. And that's exactly why we need you, soldier. Welcome to the uplifting primer for Helldivers 2. Look at the map, Cadet. Everything the light touches is bathed in the glory of liberty and super. Small? Yes, but that's just a start, and we got bigger issues to deal with. Each sector is built to the brim with backwards, primitive species that would love nothing more than to destroy our way of life. Preferably by sawing us in half. And that is where you come in. The more boys in black we send into specific planets, the closer we'll be able to free them of their grasp, and successfully bringing back peace to the sector. As of now, only two fronts of the Xenos threat are closing in on the Soul System, but that's too, too many, damn it! Get your ass in the drop pod, maggot! It's always a better idea to drop in with your buddies. Nothing's more fun than dying in a war with your friends. I mean, just ask my grandpa. It'll help you get missions done faster and possibly get some extra rewards. However, there's no shame in dropping in solo. God knows the matchmaking can use a break. Each planet you drop down is gonna have multiple objectives. So pick one at random, ODST your way down, and time to get to work. 40 minutes is all the time you're allotted. A liberal amount for less dangerous encounters, and it'll give veterans shell shock on infested worlds. Speaking of the horrors of war, you're dying! We've vac cloned your body so the slaughterhouse always has more cattle to kill, but shoving your consciousness to drop in is very expensive. The military industrial complex isn't exactly cheap, so you'll get the privilege of five extra revives for every Helldiver in your party. Use them wisely. On your map, you should have objectives you need to complete, such as defending certain positions, taking out hives, retrieving special personnel, or even our boys at Lockheed Martin's special prototypes. You might not be able to drop down right where you need to, but it's an ample opportunity to scavenge for supplies. It's not that you won't be given enough resources to live, it's just democracy is worth dying for, and my god, we love democracy. You might even find some currencies you can use for your ship, your character, and for certain Federation-approved weaponry. Alien samples of varying quality can be used for improvement towards your personal ship and equipment, medals for those great men taking the spoils of war like your Genghis Khan, requisition slips for the privilege of using new military stratagems, and super credits for drip. That's not gonna matter if you don't come back alive. So clear out whatever mission the Federation wants you to. Often be aware you might need to complete some side missions that rotate when the higher-ups want you to, so try and multitask. As you complete your final objective, head back to the extraction zone so one of the pelicans can pick you up. This is a final stand scenario, so I hope you got some ammo left. Kill some more aliens, destroy the environment without knowing how long the native life will bounce back, and head back to HQ. Honorable work, soldier. We're so proud. However, we won the battle, not the war. Make sure you do as many missions as possible and increase in difficulty. Some quests require you to complete multiple missions in a row to obtain full rewards. And trust me, you're gonna need to work for them. But as of now, you're ready to fight. Join us next time for combat and you. Good luck, soldier. These alien bastards are done for when you're on our side.